Hey guys! So I just finished recording that last video that I uploaded and I thought since I have something else to share that I would just go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, I don't know if these will be uploaded at the same time though so that just an explanation why I'm still in the same shirt and why the three babies from last time are still over there. <laughs> so um, this is going to be something that's actually not Reborn related. Um, I wanted to talk about some Barbie stuff that I got recently. So do y'all remember our baby Chrissy? Um, she was a Barbie character that was Barbie's youngest sister who was around from like I believe 1998 to 2001. She had a pretty short run and she was um, a baby. Uh, which, you know, pertains to the channel. I'm a baby channel first and foremost. But um, this is her and um, and she is Barbie's youngest sister. Um, ever since 2001 she has not been mentioned in anything so she is not like currently canon I suppose. But um, she's Barbie's youngest sister to date. And so um, I got my baby Chrissy when I was pretty young. I don't remember how young I was but I had to have been like so in 2001, I was, um, I was, sorry, I'm thinking, uh, one, two, three. I was three to four years old. So, um, so I got her when I was pretty young and as such, um, her accessories got misplaced or donated or lost. I guess that falls under misplaced, whoops. <laughs> but anyway, her accessories have long been lost to time, and so I have been on the hunt for some new accessories for her. And the first thing I want to mention is, it's actually not Barbie, it's Calico Critters. Um, there's this playset out right now, it's like Sophie's Love and Care or something to that effect. It's a little bunny, and it's got... Um, baby accessories that just so happen to perfectly fit Chrissy. It, the main thing I wanted out of it is this little bassinet um, and it can turn into a rocker or it can just be a standalone bassinet and um, it's just so adorable and baby Chrissy happens to fit perfectly inside of it. Um, and it also comes with a few other things. It comes with a potty chair, it comes with a bathtub, it comes with um, a table and a chair, and then things like um, a bowl and a spoon for the table, and a baby bottle, and shampoo and stuff for the bathtub. And it's a really cute set, and I highly recommend it. But I also got some stuff recently that is actually Barbie branded. So. They currently have the Skipper Babysitter's Ink line going on, which are, um, Skipper is Barbie's oldest sister. Um, she's younger than Barbie, but is the oldest of the three that are currently around. Um, and she apparently runs this babysitting company. And so you get these little play sets with baby accessories and then they come with babies. Um, Personally, the babies that they have right now, they're not my favorite, I'll be honest with you. I much prefer the babies from the 2000s. Those are my favorite era of Barbie babies. Um, I loved baby Chrissy, and then I loved the Happy Family uh, babies from the early 2000s. They had the pregnant Midge, which I never had, unfortunately. She was something I always wanted, but I never got to get her. But they had the pregnant Midge who came with a baby that you could put inside her stomach. And then they also had a uh, newborn like hospital setup where it was Barbie as a doctor and she was taking care of two um, newborn babies that were the same size as the uh, Midge baby. And they were in these little like hospital cradles. And I had that play set. Um, I still have the little boy from the playset. It came with um, two babies. It came with the um, white baby with the blonde hair and the pink diaper, which was the same one that you could find in the Midge playset. And then it came with a little ethnic boy um, with a blue diaper. And um, the white one with the pink diaper and the blonde hair has been lost to time. Um, unfortunately, she was my favorite out of the two, but I still have the little boy. 
and they were perfect size babies. Like the current babies they have are pretty much toddler size and um, and they're not very realistic. Like the eyes are very, I don't know, like cartoony. And not that that's a bad thing, it's just not my personal preference. I prefer the more realistic looking babies um, with the, you know, normal sized eyes and that are, you know, baby sized. Um, the Happy Family babies were perfect uh, newborn size. And then baby Chrissy, um, I don't know how old I would put her at, but um, not old enough to become a toddler yet. But um, the funny thing about that is that baby Chrissy wore clothes, whereas the Barbie uh, Skipper Babysitters Inc. babies do not wear clothes, which is ironic considering that the um, Babysitters Inc. babies look to be older than um, baby Chrissy. So you would think that they would be wearing clothes by that time. <laughs> so here are the Skipper Babysitters Inc. Um, things that I got, and I had to restrain myself from buying all of them. I would have easily blown $40 on them, but I had to kind of roll it back a little bit and be like, okay, I can't buy all of them at once. Like, let's calm down. <laughs> but um, for starters, we have um, this baby carriage. It's um, a little bassinet car seat type thing that attaches to a stroller. And it comes with a little ethnic baby and a blanket and a bottle. And, um, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it, but um, it's a really cute uh, setup that they've got going on here. And then the second thing I got was this little play set. It's, I don't know what you would call these, the little jungle gym type things that you like put the baby on a blanket and then they reach up and grab at the toys. And then it comes with a baby that crawls which is kind of funny because a baby that size compared to the size of a Barbie you would think that it would probably be like toddling by now instead of crawling but you know that's just my criticism of the current Barbie babies <laughs> but um it comes with the little jungle gym thing I have no idea what they're called and it also comes with a plastic teddy bear um plastic toy ball I think it's plastic and then this little uh I think that's a turtle with wheels on it. So it's super cute. So I figured I'd do an unboxing with them. So let's get to that. All right, let's get to unboxing this. Um, I don't know the best way to go about this. <laughs> also, sorry that the other babies are still in the background. I just recorded the other video, like I said, to begin with. Oh good, the, luckily the um, plastic is coming off pretty easily. Sometimes I have trouble getting packages like this to open. So here's the little um, car seat thing. Um, okay, so the handle moves a little bit, but it's pretty stiff, so it's probably not meant to be moved all that much. Well, no, I guess your Barbies could carry it. But um, it's a little car seat. It's got the um, buckles and all that in the detail of the sculpt. Um, and the um, little canopy, I guess you would call it, is pretty detailed too. It looks like real fabric. It's not, but it does look like real fabric. And let me get the little baby out. Oh. And there is a little, uh, two little uh, plastic tabs keeping the blanket in. So let me get some scissors. Come on, let's, let's, there we go. These scissors are not my friend. There we go. So here's the little blanket that comes with this. It's, I think it's a similar pattern to the little play mat that goes under the jungle gym. Um, similar, but not the same pattern. They both have like little uh, zoo animals on it. So you put your, you know, little baby under the blanket. Very cute. Oh, there goes the bottle. So the bottle has a little handle on it so your Barbies can hold it, which is nice. Um, I like that they had that detail. And here is the baby. And, you know, it's bigger than you would expect a Barbie baby to be. Like, I don't know, here's it compared to baby Chrissy. And I guess they're about the same size, but what is really throwing me off is, I don't know, the eyes. 
and the head size. The head is a lot bigger than Chrissy's head, and I guess that's what's throwing me off, is the head size. Um, so, this baby is a little more detailed than baby Chrissy. It's got like little creases in its arms, whereas Chrissy does not. So that's, that's a nice um, addition. And, you know, it's got little chub rolls on its back, which is cute. It's also got like a serial number or something on its back, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. Um, I don't know, just... It's just not my personal preference of baby, honestly. Like, I just don't like the big anime eyes. I mean, they're not anime, they're more cartoony, but you know what I mean. Um, and I guess they are about, you know, the same size, but this one to me just looks more taller just because of how big its head is. I don't know why. Um, so let me do an experiment. I want to see if baby Chrissy's clothes fit on these little guys. I don't imagine they will because they look a little chunkier, but it's worth a try. Let me take his diaper off. Oh, it only unvelcros on one side. So don't try to rip it off. <laughs> Let's see. So far so good, I can get its feet through. Hmm. Hmm, let's... So it appears as if the shoulders are wider. So that's why it cannot wear baby Chrissy clothes. Um, yeah, I just can't get that... Well, if I squeeze the arm a little bit... Oh, there we go! So it looks as if they can wear baby Chrissy clothes. Um, so if you... Have... <laughs> If you happen to have any extra baby Chrissy clothes lying around, you could theoretically put them on these dolls and make them look a bit less, you know, naked. Um, personally, my baby Chrissy clothes actually got lost to time as well as the other accessories, so I had to order some more on Etsy. Um, there's some people that are selling some baby Chrissy clothes that they have extras of, which is awesome. And I highly recommend you check out Etsy whenever you need stuff like that. Um, I love Etsy so much. <laughs> so let me get Chrissy back in her clothes. So yeah, they can share clothes, so um, I guess part of the reason I see toddler is also just because um, the Skipper Babysitters Ink Babies are a little bit wider. They're more bulky than baby Chrissy, and to me, I don't know, she just looks in a sense weaker and therefore not as developed as the um, Skipper's Babysitter Inc. I keep going back to like justifying why I see them as toddlers, but... And look, baby Chrissy fits! Oh my gosh! So cute! Alright, let me put this little fellow's diaper back on. I don't know why, but when it comes to like ethnic Barbie babies, I always see them as guys. I have no idea why. Let's see here. Oh, I put it on backwards. la ti da Nope, that is still backwards. What am I doing? There we go. The velcro is around the front. There we go. And it looks a little bit funky because it, the other side doesn't velcro, it's just sewn on, but oh well. So, you know, there was my rant about the whole Babysitter's Ink babies. Oh, and its head does not move. It is one solid piece. So that's a bit unfortunate. You can't have baby looking side to side or anything. I think Chrissy looks side to side. Yeah, she looks side to side. You can move her head. I don't think you're supposed to, because it's not that easy to move her head, but, you know. <laughs> it's possible. 
Alright, and now for the main event, the stroller part. So, let's see... Nope, that's backwards. Let me see... I have to remove her. There we go. Let me see if I can get this to click in. There we go! Ain't that cute? So, I don't know if it's the right height for Barbies. I know that it's the right height for Skipper because that's who the playset's made for. Um, let me go get... I have a... Uh, vintage skipper from the well does she count as vintage she's from the 90s um golly i feel old i <laughs> i'm 20 and so i was born in the 90s does that mean i'm vintage now <laughs> but uh she's a 90s skipper that i got at goodwill um i thought she was a barbie at first and then i tried to put her in barbie clothes and i was like wait a second she's a little too small for these so i looked her up online um because I was able to identify her by her outfit because she still had her original outfit on and so she was a babysitter skipper from the 90s. So um, I have her so we can see how well it fits skipper and then I have a couple of Barbie fashionistas so I'll grab one of them and we can see how well it fits Barbie. All right, so here we have the babysitter Skipper. Um, she's wearing current Barbie clothes. They're obviously a little big on her, um, but they're still cute. She's got a little tender heart uh, tank top on and then a pink and red skirt and then a little red headband and then some uh, pink kind of see-through sneakers. Um, so, and I don't know if the skipper is the same height as the other skippers. I would assume so, because it's like, how much variation can you get? So it looks like it fits her pretty well. She does have to reach up in order to... Um, here, sorry. <laughs> Y'all can't see what I'm doing. She does have to reach up in order to reach it, which, you know, isn't really a problem. But, um, you know, you wouldn't expect to have to reach up that far for a real baby stroller. So... I mean, I don't know. I That's not like a criticism or anything. It's just, it is what it is. Um, so, that's how Skipper fits it. And so, also, interesting thing about Skipper, she used to be blonde, just like Barbie and her sisters. But now, she's brown-haired and has a, a purple streak of hair. So she turned rebellious and dyed her hair, I suppose. <laughs> Cause she didn't want to look as much like Barbie, I guess. I have a friend whose sister did that. Um, she was fed up of, of people, you know, comparing her to her sister, to her big sister, because her big sister is my best friend and she's pretty iconic, I guess. <laughs> like, she's hard to... It, once you meet her, you know who she is. She's got a big personality and stuff. And so I'm, I'm assuming that she just got tired of being compared to her sister, so she dyed her hair brown. <laughs> And so here's my other Barbie, my adult Barbie. She's a Barbie fashionista. Her name is um, Edie. Uh, let's see how she fits it. Um, so she still has to reach up, but not quite as much as Skipper. Um, for like a real realistic uh, baby carriage, you would expect the hands to go like here, I guess, if you can see that. Um, but instead she has to reach up, which is fine, it's not a big deal, but, um... But yeah, so, both Barbie, or, you know, friends of Barbie, and, uh, Skipper have to reach up in order to get it, but that's, that's fine. So, a little random tidbit here. The thing, um, that I like more about the 90s Barbies than current Barbies is I really like the eye style and this is a bit contradictory because I said I didn't like the big eyes and the babies but I do like the big expressive eyes in the full-size dolls um, or you know the ones that are older um, I just really like I like how expressive they are and I like that like if you look the pupils are blue instead of black and I don't know I think that's an interesting stylistic choice um, 
I think it's adorable. But um, in the modern Barbies, uh, ever since the 2000s came around, you've got more realistic eyes and very heavy eye makeup. Because if you look at Skipper here, um, she's got like three eyelashes each eye and um, a little bit of eyeliner it looks like, but it's not overly done. But if you look at Edie, she's got eyelashes all the way around and um, you know, it just looks like she's really been laying on the mascara. And you know, it's a stylistic choice and it's not a bad thing, I just prefer the cutesy eyes. like. Okay, if you were to have um, the old style eyes and then the baby with the cutesy eyes, I can see that working because they're stylistically similar, you know? Um, you've got the big cartoony eyes and the big cartoony eyes here. So that's not really, if it were like that, I wouldn't see it as much of a problem, but if you look at baby Chrissy, she's got eyes that are more like the current Barbies, you know? So I guess that's my criticism, is that the styles don't necessarily match up. Like hers are more like, you know, early 2000s eyes. Um, they're a little bit different, not, not too much different, but you know, it's a little bit different stylistically. But still, she looks more like the current Barbies. So <laughs> I've been just going off on that. I've been like railing on the current ones and they're not bad I don't like hate them or anything um, I just don't think the styles match up very well so now let's move on to the little uh, jungle gym thing someone's gonna comment and tell me the real name like they have to okay so here's the little play mat the babies lay on um, okay so the sticker is a little off-center whoops um, let me see if I can pull that off without ripping it because I want it to be more centered I am OCD like that like a lot of people it wouldn't bother them but for me I am just that OCD sticker peeling ASMR <laughs> There we go. Oh man, it ripped a little bit at the end. Uh, okay. Don't stick to yourself. Let me reapply this. Sorry for the detour. I just, that was really bothering me. There we go. It's still not perfectly centered, but it's a bit better than it was before. Let me smooth that out. Uh-oh, I tore it a little bit, but that's okay. It's not that big a deal. Um, so, there we go. That's the little play mat. Whoa. Okay. I was afraid its head was going to come off. So, this is the little baby. Unlike the other one, uh, its diaper is not cloth. This is part of the doll. You cannot remove this. Um, it's a plastic piece that is attached. Um, you can't move the limbs. Um, can you? I don't know if you can move the limbs on. Yeah, you can move the limbs on this one, on this little fella, but not on this one. And um, he's a little bobblehead. If you shake his head, he moves. So that's pretty cute. Oh, look. He even moves back and forth too, so he kind of wiggles. Oh, I guess it says that on the box and I am just a lunatic and did not see that. <laughs> but yeah, you can like wiggle him back and forth like he's actually crawling. How cute. Again, like I said, all ethnic babies are he to me and I don't know why. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cute. Um, I don't know why they decided to pair a crawling baby with this set because usually when you're using one of these things, you're using them for tummy time, aren't you? I mean, that's just my general perception. I don't have kids myself, so I wouldn't, I guess, know. 
There are little pieces of plastic on the backs of these hangy things that were keeping them in place. So, so they didn't get dislodged during shipping or anything. So, um, they move freely, which is nice. That way you can, you know, actually pretend your babies are grabbing them. And whoop, there's this little like sticker that goes to nothing that was there. That's lovely. Um, and I believe these click in to place. I might be wrong. I think they do. There we go. Ta-da! And then you got the little accessories. Yes, this ball is made of plastic, so it doesn't bounce or anything, but you know, it's for your Barbies, not for you. <laughs> so I wouldn't necessarily expect it to bounce. So here's the little turtle and its wheels actually move, which is nice. It's a nice touch. Um, he's pretty cute. He reminds me of, um, have y'all seen the Facebook page Helix on Wheels? It, he was, Helix was this um, little baby tortoise and he was deformed. So instead of his back legs facing down, um, they faced up in the air. And so his owner had this brilliant idea to, um, y'all remember tech decks those little finger skateboards so he took tech decks and took off the back or you know the axles for the wheels and then he used glue dots to attach the um wheels to helix's uh carapace it is that's what you call the shell right he he attached it to the underside of his belly basically and so helix was able to move by dragging himself and then the wheels would help him move and that was really cool. The, sadly, Helix passed away recently, but um, his owner gave him such a good life while he was around. Um, sorry, here I am talking about, you know, freaking tortoises when I'm supposed to be, like, you know, talking about this, but cute little teddy bear. And so, you got your little baby hanging out here. Oh, <laughs> the toys hit his head, but um, I don't see why you can't move him because wouldn't you want to like have him reach up and grab the toys but I don't know maybe that's just me being overly critical I just don't like I can see if they paired this guy with another playset but I just don't think pairing him with the jungle gym was a good idea just because that's not how you use them <laughs> like you would at least like sure you can use them while crawling if you're able to reach up and grab them but if you just do like this like that looks awkward doesn't it because he's got like his head like way back here like that doesn't look very comfortable son <laughs> but let's see how Chrissy uses it I hope you're able to see all this because um all I have is a little preview screen so I don't know how well you're able to see what I'm doing but um here we go baby Chrissy here let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing better. Whoop. There we go. Ah, okay. Work with me. There we go. So she can reach up and she can grab the little, um, little hangy things and that's adorable. So obviously these will be accessories for Chrissy. I don't really plan on doing much with the little ethnic babies because I personally don't have any ethnic dolls, um, like Barbie dolls. So I'd have no one that these kids could belong to unless they were adopted. But, um, so Chrissy looks more like she could be the daughter of my other two. Um, I've got Edie and then I've got, um, Another one, her name's Harmony. She's uh, got pink hair. She's adorable. Um, and ironically, they're both wearing fruit outfits right now. She's wearing, uh, Edie's wearing the orange dress, and then um, Harmony's wearing a little jumpsuit thingy with cherries on it, which is adorable. But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I also just have uh, Skipper, who's, she doesn't really belong to anyone. She's her own lady, she's independent. <laughs> But yeah, she's, you can have her babysitting Chrissy. What I like about this skipper is that you can rotate her um, body. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. 
you can rotate her body like at the hips. Um, I really like that feature. And um, she's got those nice like semi-posable legs that um, the older Barbies had, you know, the rubber legs that kind of click into place. And I wish they would bring that back with the fashionistas because the fashionistas have such limited mobility. Like you can't make them sit anywhere. You can't really do much of anything with them. They just kind of have to stand there. Like at least give them like the limited mobility that the old Barbies had, you know, cause at least she can like sit with her legs like this, you know? Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to make it seem like I'm harping on like modern day Barbies. I just, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't do well with change. I like things the way they used to be, gosh darn it. <laughs> but yeah, look, you can have her watching baby Chrissy and while Chrissy's, you know, playing with their toys. How cute. But anyway, I just wanted to show this stuff off because, I mean, what better place to show off my uh, Barbie baby stuff than on my Reborn channel, you know? Because we all love babies. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I really like these sets. Um, I would recommend getting them if you have Barbie babies or if you want to get some because, you know, they come with the little babies. Um, each of the Skipper play sets comes with a baby. Um, so it's good if you want to have like a little nursery of Barbie babies. But yeah, anyway, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.